Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Woodle text or should I say TikTok style text in Premiere Pro. You also need the BCC plugin installed and we're going to be using this plugin for the glow. So let's get started. I have my clip ready here. Let's make the text. So I'm going to press T on my keyboard. Click anywhere. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put text. So your text. I'm just going to click away or just select the selection tool. And before we do anything like realign it and center it, we are going to change the font. So open it up in effect controls and change the font to Arial and select the font type bold. Then what you can do, so you can either go like um, full screen, it's not really full screen, I don't, I don't really know what it's called, or you can zoom in by using this option. And what we're going to do, so if I just turn it up to maybe, maybe like 100, I'm going to hold control on my keyboard and click and drag this little button or crosshair to the center. So until it locks in like so perfect now it's in the center now head back into the effect controls and reset the position which is underneath all the text settings so i'm just going to click on this little arrow and there you go now it's centered and ready to be used now before you do anything i would highly recommend just saving this or just duplicating it so i'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and just click and drag it to my side just anywhere as long as you have access to it because it may be useful when you make your second pair of text but back to this i'm just going to scale it down to 35 you can go lower if you like to but i think that looks pretty good so what i'm going to do next is push it up just a bit using the position so in fact i am going to zoom in just to show you a bit clearer so just going to push it up so it's not completely centered and that's because i want a bottom text as well so it's going to be your text here the word here will be the bottom text just below so yeah this is what i have so far next extend your text to as long as you want it so of course this depends on your clips it depends on the dialogue i assume your characters are saying something mine isn't because it's just an example let's just say my character said your text from 521 all the way up to 607 that's how long the duration of my layer will be so as you can see it's already extended but you know in fact i am going to go extend it a bit more for tutorial purposes and i am actually going to look back at my previous example because i forgot what to do so yeah i'm just going to push this up as well since i'm going to have two layers so just leave a gap between your first text and the clip itself next we're going to animate it from start to finish so i'm just going to zoom in once again and just scroll a bit up now keyframe the scale in the effects controls head all the way to the end just one frame back so not to the end where you can't see the clip you need to be able to see the text and just turn it up turn the amount up by five so from 35 to 36 7 8 9 40. as a result i have a very slow scale out effect now it's time to add the glow so search for bcc glow obs this one underneath bcc obsolete just drag that onto your text layer directly and copy my settings so i'm just going to quickly copy and paste it from my other layer as my settings are already ready so i'm just going to paste it like so and open it up so just copy what i've got so i think the main settings i've changed are the radius so that should be 50 and the glow intensity which should be 1.5 at the moment it looks like a complete mess don't worry we need to add some drop shadow so just give it a search the one underneath perspective add it onto your clip twice by the way i I'm going to minimize my glow obs effect so that it's just a bit more organized and it makes it easier to work with so i'm just going to click on the arrow these are my settings for the two drop shadow effects so starting with the first one that you should add on so it should be the one after the glow opacity 50 percent 135 direction five distance and softness 50 now as for the second one it should go 100 135 three and zero if you'd like to you can save these as a preset so if i just hold control on my keyboard click all three in order so glow first then the first drop shadow and then the second don't do it in any other order otherwise it's going to mess it up then you want to just right click save preset and give it a name now let's work on the second text which is the bottom one so what i'm going to do is hmm let's see do I want to duplicate this layer? I could start fresh, but I think it would be much more difficult. So let's make it easy for ourselves and just duplicate the top one. So hold Alt on your keyboard, click and drag it down and move it to wherever you want to. So uh, obviously, you know, I don't have dialogue, but my chosen word is here and I wanted to start around, well, here. Therefore, I'm going to trim the beginning like so. And now we need to make the adjustments because obviously at the moment it looks like a mess. First things first, uh, let's get rid of the scale keyframes. So I'm just going to click on the stopwatch and this is going to come up. Hit OK. I'm going to move the position down like so and change it. So I'm going to put 
text. I've just realized that one mistake I made is not aligning it properly. If you select this option, which aligns the text, it makes it so much easier to work with because each time you change the letters, you will not have to move this little like crosshair each time. So I'm just going to quickly reset it and realign the crosshair. It's not working like last time, so it's not locking in, meaning I need to just reset the scale and now it should work. There you go. So it's basically what I did at the start, but with the center aligned text option selected, which makes it easy to work with. So I'm just going to reset it one more time. You can see it's centered already, but I am going to push it down just a bit. So let me just zoom in. I want to get it as close as I can to the top layer, but not too close. So maybe something like that. So 730 looks fine for me. In fact, I am actually supposed to scale this down. The edges need to align almost like they're inside a box. So I'm going to go 85 and just push it up very slightly like so so 725 looks perfect so far so good however we need to animate it so i'm just going to zoom in once again set a stopwatch for the scale and the position so both of these settings and head all the way to the end one frame back just like before in fact before i do that i am just going to really quickly trim this because i don't want it to last till the end and what i'm going to do now increase the scale by one two three four five if your two text layers are kind of clashing together then what you can do is set another keyframe for the position so if i just head back a few frames you can see it looks fine so i don't really need to add another keyframe but if it did look something like this for example then i would push it down so just increase the value just by a few numbers so instead of 725 it's 730 and it just gives it a bit of space then i can just push this frame keyframe back like so okay animation's done now all we need to do is add the fade so just right click the beginning of your first layer and select apply default transitions and double click on the cross dissolve change the duration to let's go 12. now if you think that doesn't look good enough then you can turn it down or increase it so if you go six it fades in much faster than before but i think 12 looks fine for me i'm going to leave it at that then i'm going to repeat this with the end of my layer so right click apply change it to 12 and the same goes for the bottom layer so 12 the end as well 12 there you go now we are almost done however if you want to you can add a gradient to your text which is like a color but if you want to go the easy route then simply change the color of your text so the fill just pick a color so i'm gonna go red so if you're happy with that you can leave it as it is but if you're not then don't worry neither am i so what you need to do is search for an effect called four color gradient this one underneath generate and add it directly onto your second layer move the four color gradient that we just added underneath the two drop shadows so i'd say that this part depends on your opinion so when i put it above bcc glow obs it gives it a nice color i mean i haven't even changed the colors but it looks good but when i place it underneath the glow you can see it looks completely different it's instead following the pattern of the colors that have been chosen so by default you've got these colors so what i'm going to do is just experiment a bit by placing this above the glow changing color one to something like let's go red and also color two to red when you click the effect you'll see that these four points appear and these each represent the numbers so color one is this one in the top left color two is the top right color three bottom left color four bottom right i'm going to change color three to white and the same goes for color four so white as well so far i've got a nice red gradient but i want to take it a step further and push down color one and two so that it's a bit tighter therefore i'm going to change the second value of point one to 600 like so and the same goes for point two so 600 and then 1000 for color three or should I say 0.3 and then 1000 for 0.4 as well. This is what it looks like. And you know, it looks good, I think, uh, but it doesn't really stand out. So let's try this. I'm going to place it underneath the glow and see if it makes a difference. So that is far more noticeable compared to when we had it on top. So I think I'm going to go with this method. However, if I do reset it, you can see we get a nice rainbow color. Look what happens when I change one single color. It changes the entire look. Okay, so that's how you do the first text with a simple fade in. Now we need to make a mask fade. I've actually forgot to show you one step and that's the fades between the words. So I'm just going to make a random cut here. So imagine this layer is for the first word only, which is your. So that's the only word I want visible. What I'm going to do is make a mask. So head back into effect controls underneath the text option. Select the four point polygon mask. And what you want to do is turn down the feather to five. I'm going to zoom in. So 200 should be fine. And move this mask to the left until this is the only word that's visible. So that looks perfect. Repeat this for your other words. I've only got two. So I am done. 
Then what you want to do is add a fade in between your split layers. So apply default transitions and turn this down to let's go six. All done. Now it fades in smoothly. So that was a waste of time because now I can show you the second method. So let me start by getting rid of all my fades. Once you have your text prepared, what you want to do is head all the way to the start and select this ellipse mask and turn up the feather to 125 or higher then adjust the point like i do so just expanding it a bit push the mask all the way to the left until the text is not visible then set a keyframe for the mask path and head to the middle i'd say towards the beginning of the next layer so the one below and you want to select the mask once again shift it to the center where it's visible and head to the end one frame back as always then push it out like so until it's not visible play it back and see how it looks because it's not going to look perfect already i think it fades out a bit too quick there at the end so what i'm going to do is head between the last two keyframes select the mask and just push it back just a bit like so what i'm doing is i'm adding a longer pause in between the two keyframes so it should hopefully look better there you go perfect now repeat this for your next text layer and also you can see I haven't actually closed my effects so always do that it just helps it just makes it easier to work with. So yeah why am I going down I mean up and then select the ellipse mask. Let's go 150 for this one for the feather keyframe the path mask I meant mask path anywhere towards the middle in fact I haven't even moved the first one so let me just grab the points move it to the left just there perfect in the middle and shift it just there head to the end one frame back and i'm gonna just shift it like so i mean i could move it down here let's see how that looks so if i just drag it down to the corner and play it back that's a bit too quick so we need to add another pause so somewhere towards the end i'm just gonna push this up like so not literally to the center but somewhere just there and let's see how that looks okay again that's a bit too quick so let me just get rid of this in between keyframe what could I do to slow it down? I'm trying to think. Perhaps I could shift this middle keyframe to the right so it gives it more time to reveal. Definitely looks better, but it's still a bit too quick. In fact, what I could do is get rid of the last one. I'm going to push this second keyframe towards the end, like maybe there. Then I'm going to add a simple fade at the end, which lasts about 12 seconds long. I'll increase the length as well, just a bit. There you go and also push it back a bit more because I've increased it. And this is the result which looks awesome. Members, as a thank you for your support, I will give away this project file in the Discord server. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.